Hey what's up guys, Sam here with Custom PC Review and today I have an unboxing of a product for you guys that I am pretty excited about and that is the Corsair Vengeance K60 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Right off the bat you see right on the front in big letters the Vengeance logo as well as Corsairs on the top left hand corner and K60 on the top right hand corner. The important thing about this keyboard is the Cherry MX Red key switches. It also has Contour Textures WASD keycaps, an anti-ghosting technology with 20 key rollover, and of course it is designed for performance gaming. And as you can see right here on the left side, you do have a window showing you what you are getting in the box. All right, so the first thing right here you see is Corsair's two-year warranty. And as we all know, Corsair has a pretty legendary warranty system. And here are some of the technical specifications for you guys. And as touched on earlier, the most important feature of this keyboard is of course the Cherry MX Red Mechanical Key Switches. Now this key switch has a 45 gram actuation force, two millimeters, two actuation, and four millimeters to the bottom rated at 50 million operations, which means they will last you for a very long time, and they do have bold contacts as well. Now, if you need a closer look at any of these specifications, feel free to pause the video at any time. All right, so moving on, we have the soft cushion contoured wrist rest, as well as another logo of the Corsair Vengeance K60. And on the top, we have another mention of the Cherry MX Red key switches, as you can see right there. The keycaps. And of course, we also have the professional grade brushed aluminum chassis with laser etched keys. And another logo right there to finish off. Moving around the back, we have another picture of the keyboard itself. A little reminder that this is a performance gaming keyboard and an explanation of the Vengeance Gaming Peripheral line. Of course, we have a couple more features that we already know, as well as an image on the bottom right hand corner telling you that you can remove the keys. So without further ado, we are going to open the box and find out what's inside. All right guys, so let's open this box up right here and it looks like it comes out a little bit easier off the top side. So we are gonna do that. And the packaging is wrapped in a plastic piece covering the keyboard on top. And we have sort of a cardboard piece on the bottom that kind of protects the rest of the keyboard. So we are going to remove the plastic piece covering the keyboard. And if you take a look at the keyboard, it looks just really nice right off the bat. Nice silver metallic brushed aluminum finish. And right below that, you have a couple pieces of paper. So one of these sheets of paper is the warranty guide. And the other one is the quick start guide, as you can see here. Next thing you get are the WASD textured keys. And as you can see here, they look quite good and they are quite grippy as well. Additionally, you also do get the palm rest. Now notice it is a palm rest for only one hand and that would be your left hand for when you're playing games. The top of the wrist pad is a nice rubbery texture provide some nice support for your hands while the entire case itself is more of a plastic material. As you can see here, you do have the one through six buttons in the rubberized and textured variety. And as you can see, I am placing the WASD keys into the case as there are slots available for you to place them. Is the D key and of course I am having trouble putting them in. 
And of course, as you can see on the top of the case cover, there is also a key remover. There it is right there, snaps right into place. And just like how it's open, it is also closed in a clamshell fashion. Alright, so moving on to the keyboard itself, you do have that nice brushed aluminum there. Very fingerprint resistant. As you can see on the right side, you do have all your media buttons, as well as that scroll wheel right there for the volume, a mute button, as well as a Windows key lock button. And I really like this because I do like having the option of having a Windows key. Right below that, you do have your stop, backtrack, forward track, and play pause buttons. Keyboard layout, very standard. And as you can hear, those buttons right there, the insert, home, delete, all that, those are membrane keys. And what Corsair has opted to do is use a cheaper membrane key for some of the more unused buttons, such as the delete button, insert button, F12, and all that stuff. And um, in order to save costs, they decided to use the cheaper membrane keys for those buttons while still using mechanical keys for the regular keyboard itself. So right here, I am showing you the braided cord, which is quite thick so it should be extremely durable and on the tips of those you do have a dual usb which means that there will be a usb hub on this keyboard itself as you can see here it is specified that one is for the keyboard and one is for the usb hub and as we take a look at the top of the keyboard we do have one USB 2.0, 1.1, 1.0 pass-through port. And here's a quick view of the sides of the keyboard, which has nothing. So we will be moving to the back of the keyboard. And as you can see, there is a plastic feet right there that flips out to the side, just like that. As you can see, there is a small piece of rubber to hold the keyboard in place. There are also feet at the front, which is very interesting. As you can see there, you may want to just use the front keyboard feet in order to raise the keyboard through the front instead of through the back. Of course, this is all personal preference. And there it is right there. There are also two holes, and both of these are used for attaching the palm rest. So that is the Corsair K60 Mechanical Performance Gaming Keyboard. And I am going to attach the palm rest real quick for you guys. And I do like the fact that Corsair has developed this for FPS as well as MMO gamers in mind. As you can see, palm fits very well right there on the palm rest and it is extremely comfortable. So before I end this, I do want to show you the difference between the Cherry MX Red switches as shown here and of course the membrane switches as shown from the F9 key. As you can see, they don't have mechanical switches up there while these keys over here, the WASD keys do, as you can see they are very different. Alright guys, so that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. I do have a couple more shots of the keyboard itself, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.